My name is Jeff Horlowski and I'm the director of Chasing Coral, uh, both the feature film and the VR experience. Chasing Coral is a film that we made over the last three and a half years, uh, following a team of adventurers and divers and scientists on this crazy epic trip around the planet. Um, we've, we've been aware of the story that's happening to the oceans and to coral reefs, and what we wanted to do was visualize it and to show people what's happening uh, to corals. I think we've sort of had the approach of um, getting access to the story from any angle we possibly can, you know, leveraging any tool or technology that's out there, both in how we were capturing the material for the film itself, but then also how we can distribute it and give people that experience. Only 0.1% of the world population goes scuba diving. So for most people, if you can put on a VR headset, you can get to go virtually diving. It's the first time you can have that virtual experience of being submerged, being in the water, having fish swim around you, having fish come right up to you. Uh, it's the closest you can get to actually scuba diving without you know, flying to the ocean. When approaching either like a feature documentary versus VR piece, um, you can't really shoot them at the same time, that's the first thing, because that VR camera is gonna capture the full 360 experience. Um, and it's a, I'd seen enough VR films at this point that you sort of get a sense of the language and the way you can use it and where you can place it. And um, that's that was much more of a specific way in which we had to shoot. But really it's just like, where would I want to be? Where would I want my head to be if I was having the most immersive experience in this place? And that's where you kind of put the camera. That's the easiest way to think of it, I think. This was the first VR piece that I've made, and it was really, really fun. One of the challenging things, we didn't have the post-production uh, resources out in the field, so we were just shooting blind. We weren't stitching, we weren't, I had no feedback on what was working or what wasn't working, if our exposures were working, if you know the, the kind of subframe rate um, sync was good enough or not. So we were pretty much shooting everything we possibly could, and we came back and stitched everything together and saw what kind of film we can make from it. So our team is based in Colorado. I live up in Boulder and our editing team is mostly in Denver. Um, and we cut in Premiere, we use a lot of After Effects. Um, our projects were very, very large. I mean, we're talking about hundreds and hundreds of hours um, and at the, those resolutions. So we proxied everything at the beginning. Um, so separate from the 160 terabytes and the multiple sets of those drives, we had the sets of proxy drives uh, where everything was in 1080. Um, and so we cut in 1080. So our editor on the VR piece would be cutting in um, mostly in Premiere. And uh, we'd see it on the, on the screen, um, kind of equi-rectangular. And then he'd export everything out to a phone that he just kept there. And we just kept doing these round trips and we'd watch it in VR. We'd go back, make some tweaks and kind of get a feeling, get a sense of, this was all new for us. Um, we had never done any VR projects before and we just kind of went for it. And we were able to pull it all off in Premiere. Um, learning kind of the relative scale, how big does text need to be? Or, wow, that's too big, it's in your face. And sometimes when we had to do some image overlays, um, um, we show some of the time lapses that are featured in the, the feature film. Some of those time lapses are in the VR piece and trying to dial in the size and the scale and, and see what headsets are, is it optimized for. Um, so it was a really, really awesome experience. Um, our team getting to use this new technology you're always looking for a new way to tell a story. You're looking for ways to engage. You're always looking for what is cutting edge. Um, not for, the, for me, not for the sake of it being cutting edge, uh, as opposed to um, what's cool? Like, what can we do that's freaking awesome? And, and yeah, we learned about this VR technology and we can take people scuba diving. That's freaking awesome. Like, let's take people, let's take kids, like, let's take politicians, let's take CEOs, let's take everybody on a virtual scuba dive because you normally can't do that.